here with deadly young mob from all over this country who are here to stand together to protect our country from devastating climate change and extraction of fossil fuels. And we've been in Sydney for the last few days learning, sharing stories, building skills and building plans for how we're going to stand together with all of you mob who are out there listening to protect our country. So we know that to keep um, our climate below two degrees of warming, we need to keep all new coal and gas in the ground. Because really they're the ones who, who are making the climate change by, by ripping up the land and you know, digging, up, you know, digging up the life source of, of this mother earth. You know? You know, they're taking away coal, digging up oil, you know, gas and everything, you know, that they don't really know the concept of, of, of what it really does, you know. You know, like big hurricanes, uh, you know, all, all those different stuff that's happening overseas now. You know, it's just, to me, it's just Mother Nature's way of saying enough is enough. We got a calendar that's just never been changed for, what, 60 odd thousand years. You could predict everything off this calendar. You go hunting, it tells you when the, when the dugong are fat, when the turtle are fat, and when, when to go look for magpie geese. And I get, it's all perfectly done so we could survive off our land. But now, we've got to freestyle it. I know that my people deserve better. The reason why I care so much about um, climate change is because we already have um, incredibly incredibly complex social and political issues in our own communities and these things are all exacerbated by natural disasters which is climate change. We are in a time and we talk about a tipping point and we talk about a crisis moment and we're already there we've been living it for 20 years. You know coming together like this here sharing stories and knowledge of bad land has really touched my heart. Yeah, it was just, it's our time, like, if we don't do it, it's not going to be done. This is, within this 10 year period, it's, it's our time to shine, like, come together. We're being guided from our ancestors, they're bringing us together, you, you can feel it in everybody. In their eyes and pain and souls, you know, like, it's, we're all here for the same reason. We as Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people are not only facing the forefront of the issues of climate change, but our land has been dug up and destroyed ever since colonisation and we are here to say enough is enough. We are standing with communities that are opposing these projects on their land who don't want their lands destroyed. We know that the burning of fossil fuels, coal and gas, is creating pollution that's warming our climate. Climate change is affecting our reef. It's destroying our Great Barrier Reef and causing the bleaching event that's happening right now. We're calling on the Australian Government, on Malcolm Turnbull, to stop the subsidies to fossil fuels and protect our country. Stand with us, Malcolm.